Welcome back to my channel for all six of my viewers. I hope you've had a great year. I know I've been uploading fewer content recently, but you know what they say. If you have to choose between quality and quantity, it's always better to choose neither. As you may or may not have seen, my main focus has been Red Dead Online this year. It started out as what can be described as one of the most entertaining group experiments I've ever been part of. <laughs> but unfortunately, as time passed and the novelty of the game wore off for us, all my friends started to eventually develop their careers and futures, they got married, employed, started bettering themselves, so they stopped playing. All of them, that is, except for yours truly. Luckily, I'm still broke, unemployed, useless, and without any clear sense of a bright future. So I'm here to share with you what I've been up to these past weeks, and to prove that Red Dead Online is perfectly enjoyable solo. Enjoy. It's actually quite nice being alone in such a well-optimized game, without all those disconnects, bugs, glitches, hackers... WHAT THE FUCK?! Crux sacra sit mihi lux, nunquam draco sit mihi dux, vade retro satana, nunquam suade mihi vana... I'm sorry, I thought my game was possessed there for a moment, but apparently it's just some jackass hacker. Guess I gotta learn to live with this, eh? Ah, this is fine. Subscribe for more garbage. What the hell? No, 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 no! It's like every fucking time that cougar gets me. So, there's this new trend I've heard about recently. It's just taking off. It's called sacrificing your friends to Moloch the demon. I'm not one to brag, but let's just say all the cool kids are doing it. Now I can't overstate this enough. It's absolutely imperative that your candidate for sacrifice is alone. No, 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 no! I don't want to be a sacrifice! No! Yeah, I've seen enough Conjuring movies to know exactly where this is going, thanks. The music's supposed to be a little bit creepier, but whatever. Remember that infamous mission from Far Cry 3? Actually, remember when dubstep was a thing? We must up the pace, turn up the pace and make some sound. Why run? And we will end your week just like a Sunday. No train fare, no problem. Ah, there are very few things in life that are as calming and soothing to the soul as enjoying the morning sunlight in solid shit. Did that dude seriously just laugh at me? Clearly, he doesn't know. I've killed people for way less. Let no man say I did not find a dignified spot to send him off. Sir, if this doesn't teach you not to laugh at people who have falling accidents, nothing will. Can't stand up from this goddamn table. Okay, that's not an improvement. I guess this is my life now. Thanks, Rockstar. Such a broken fucking game. What a lovely bar this town has. No need for concern, gentlemen. Carry on. <laughs> He's still playing. Hey, sir, I think you missed a spot there. Let me get it for you. Not playing anymore, are you? You seem oddly unconcerned with all your friend's untimely demise. Hey, I got a present for your bravery. Yeah, you earned this, buddy. And he's just not impressed. No one ever tell you fuckers alcohol is poisonous? And I'm not just rambling, that's a scientific fact. I know because I tested it. Let's cut to a flashback. Look at my test subject's health. She was so voluntary I had to tie her up. Yeah, killed her within moments. See? Clearly poisonous. Balls of steel, man. I like this guy. This is the most pathetic PvP I've ever seen in my life. This random NPC's horse got spooked and he's running out of control. I tried to save him in my own way, but I was a bit too late. He was unscratched though. This encounter inspired me to test these wagons' endurance a little bit more thoroughly.
It really seems like people just don't appreciate science the way they used to. Sad, really. I'm gonna be honest, all this antisocial behavior makes me yearn for some honest work. Time for some bounty hunting. Let's see. Joseph Aldo Gang, wanted for rampage, thievery, and bootlegging. These are things I've never do. Atrocious. I'm coming for you guys. This road feels a bit funny. Oh shit, and now my friend is dead. Good night, sweet prince. Listen, I'm only here for the Joseph Aldo Gang. Anyone not closely affiliated with these people may go home unharassed. You have my word. My improvised strategy is to tie them all up one at a time and trust that they'll be too retarded to work together and shoot me. Your days of terrorizing my peaceful community is over! You and your untaxed, unregulated liquor. I seem to remember issuing a public safety warning about the danger of alcohol. The situation right here is another shining example to that. It turns out they really are too retarded to shoot me. You idiots should have known better. If there's one thing that knows better than anyone what you should and shouldn't be allowed to consume with your friends in the privacy of your own homes, it's the government. I'm actually desperately trying to prove here that I don't even need my friends. As far as I know, this is the most difficult kind of bounty mission. That's three in the wagon, three tied up. I gotta give it to them, they chose quite a scenic location to be abducted. No! Imagine buying a piece of shitty rope for several hundred dollars only for that rope to break. Let me correct that. To betray you the first fucking chance it gets. Of course, now these two other losers got free. When the shit hits the fan, the excrement goes fucking everywhere. No! I had to chase this inbred bootlegging mouth breather halfway across the state on fucking foot. Of course, his friend got away while I was chasing him, that goes without saying. It's not all bad though. I actually consider this a relative success. Even with friends, I've never managed to deliver five live bounties. Nor will I with roads as crazy as this, Jesus Christ. You folks hungry? Me too. And there ain't shit to be done about it. Yeah, it was a piece of cake. Don't even fucking thank me. You guys know those hardcore vegans complaining about an ongoing animal holocaust? I think I know what they mean now. This alleged crime lord just fled from their legendary hideout. Guess how many of his feared warriors followed him? That's right, zero. They didn't even leave the fucking property. They were like, yeah, he knows what he's doing, he'll be fine. Well, you're mine now, buddy. I have a growing suspicion that these NPCs secretly fetishize mud. Just watch, every time they trip in it, they seem to roll around in excitement. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll let you shower. Before they hang you. I really want a refund on that reinforced lasso, it improved fucking NOTHING! Everyone keeps getting away. Mr. Loyalty Inspiring Crime Lord ran into the freaking cemetery. Come to think about it, I'm actually genuinely impressed. That's like the one place on the whole map where this fool has a chance of escaping me. That's actually amazing. Well, it would have been amazing if he actually used the capabilities of this maze, but whatever. Forget rodeos, I've got a brand new candidate for most masculine pastime in the Wild West. Trampling wild boars to death. Yeah, that's right. Give them a taste of their own medicine. See how they like it. Nice day for hunting today. Demon Buck! Shoot it! Huh. It was actually a three-star Demon Buck. Not bad. Imagine running for your life, tripping on nothing next to a fireplace, accidentally setting yourself on fire, Sustaining deadly injuries, convulsing on the ground in agonizing pain while having a seizure, and then fucking winning the match and miraculously resurrecting. The icing on the cake is that that same shit happened to me twice in like 5 minutes. I feel the need to share a personal testimony with you guys. Red Dead Online is the most immersive game experience I've ever had. And I know, I know, a lot of people have said this in the past, but my reasons are completely unique. It's not because horses' testicles shrink in cold weather or because I get to play as a violent, unstable man desperately trying to forge a future for himself with no skills or talent. No, bear with me on this one. My reason for claiming Red Dead Online to be the most immersive game is way more personal, more visceral, more primal, if you will. Notice how my character is wearing a simple pair of overalls, some sandals, and no upper body clothing whatsoever. And the game is clearly signaling to me that he's too hot, he's sweating actually. Now, given that it is 16 Celsius right now in the game, there's only one logical explanation to this unusual predicament. Rockstar tailored the game to mirror my own real-life experience. There's no other reason I can think of. I always feel too hot in real life. No matter whether it's summer, winter, or I'm in the freaking Alps, I'm sweating like a pig. 
And it feels absolutely incredible to have my Red Dead Online character go through the same struggle every day. I mean, look at this shit. The guy is wearing no t-shirt and is drenched in his own body fluids. In perfectly moderate weather. Rockstar truly went above and beyond to make this game an unforgettable, unique, lifelike experience for all of their players, and I can't praise them enough for it. If you'd like to see more gameplay compilations with self-deprecating commentary, endless cringe, mediocre editing skills and desperation in the future, make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, join my non-existent Patreon, or uh, just... 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 just fucking help me someone.